let's talk about unstable angina what happen in unstable angina and why it is called as unstable so unstable angina is classified between stable and myocardial infarction because stable is something that is not to be much worried about but myocardium infarction is a very serious problem and unstable angina comes between both of these that it is more dangerous more problematic than the stable angina but less problematic or less dangerous than myocardial infarction in unstable angina what happens is that you have increased frequency increased duration and increased intensity of chest pain so in stable angina you don't have that much frequently uh, cause angina which means uh, you only have angina when you are exercising or when you are doing some physical activity but in unstable angina that is not the case in unstable angina you can have angina even at rest or even if if you have stopped doing anything like exercise or physical activity it doesn't go away and in that case what happens is that you actually have increased intensity and increased duration and increased frequency of pain chest pain and what it means that you will have a uh, longer duration of pain you you will have pain longer than 20 minutes and you will have more intense or more severe kind of pain and frequency means that you will have it frequently which means you will have it uh, with short interval of time not relieved by rest it is also not relieved by nitroglycerin which is normally used in the case of stable angina and unstable angina is a form of acute coronary syndrome which means you need to be administered into hospital that it is something serious than stable angina as it is between stable and myocardial infarction so it means that stable angina can lead to myocardial infarction or heart attack and death so therefore you need to visit hospital and get yourself medicated so what happen in unstable angina as we all know coronary artery is artery which is present in your heart and it is supplying blood to your heart for example if this is the heart so these are the arteries these are the vessels which provide blood to your heart muscles myocardium blood is required to myocardium because blood is the source of oxygen and muscle need oxygen for their contraction and relaxation process as heart is a pumping organ so it need oxygen for its muscle to do their pumping activity so what happen when there is blockage in this artery there will be less of oxygen being supplied to heart muscles that is myocardium so when there will be less of the supply there will be ischemic condition on that part of area which means that muscles of that part will be ischemic what happen here is that if i magnify this part this is the vessel so you will be having some kind of lipid deposition over here this was in the case of stable angina but in the case of unstable angina what happen is that you have this lipid deposition much more than, than that of in the stable angina and this deposition is not stable one because 
normally in stable angina this deposition or this uh, plaque is usually covered with a layer it is encapsulated but in unstable angina this plaque is ruptured and what happen when this plaque is ruptured this lipid deposition can easily float in the blood along with blood cells and it can cause lipid deposition at different sites of blood vessel like it can go here and it can also develop deposition over here and after being ruptured it can also cause thrombosis and thrombosis means that there is formation of blood clot if there is some blood clot present what it will do is that it will further increase the blockage of the vessel now you have only a little space over here for the passage of blood to carry oxygen whereas you did have a significant amount of space for the passage of blood but now you have only little space so when uh, you will do exercise or you will have your sympathetic nervous system being activated in exercise you will uh, you will need more oxygen to your muscles and need more oxygen for the uh, physiological activity so when you will need more oxygen and there is already present blockage so it will not let the oxygen or blood pass through it and you will feel pain chest pain which is the sign of angina but even you stop doing it the pain will not go away in unstable angina but in stable angina this goes away after stopping uh, that physiological stress on your body and in, if your sympathetic nervous system is being activated and that means you are having vasoconstriction if this was the normal blood vessel size and after constricting it is the normal blood size and you also have a block along with the thrombus like if this was the block and now this is the thrombus so if it is constricted and it also had block and thrombus before sympathetic nervous system being activated you had this much space but now you have only this little space and what it will do is that you will have discomfort on chest and you will feel pain which is uh, a characteristic of unstable angina as you are having more blockage over here than that of stable angina you will obviously have more pain and more uh, deficiency of uh, oxygen it will um, enhance the frequency duration and intensity of pain so this is how um, unstable angina occur in this case you are not having complete blockage over here you are still having a little space and that uh, space can provide a little blood to your myocardium so only this part where there is deficiency or there is decrease of oxygen supply only in that place there will be ischemic condition and ischemia is different than that of myocardial infarction ischemia is something that is imbalance between oxygen demand and oxygen supply ischemia mean that you need more of the oxygen than that of being supplied when there is ischemia what happens is that your muscles shift their metabolism from aerobic condition to anaerobic conditions and what is that in aerobic condition energy is produced in the presence of oxygen whereas in anaerobic condition energy is produced in the absence of oxygen and it utilizes other sources so in this way as we all know in anaerobic condition there is formation of lactic acid and this lactic acid can lead towards the chest pain 
so and this chest pain is the primary a uh, characteristic of angina either it is a stable angina or unstable angina but in unstable angina as i said before uh, there is increase in frequency of chest pain and increase in duration and increase in the intensity of pain because there is more blockade of uh, vessels in unstable angina than that of in stable angina it is not infarction because in infarction there is complete blockage of vessel and there is no further supply of oxygen and in that way there will be death of myocardium which will not be recovered so as we are having a blood clot over here this blood clot can uh, further dislodge and go to different site and can cause heart attack so it is a dangerous thing to happen so what we can do we can give drugs like aspirin we can give nitroglycerin we can give oxygen we can give morphine these are the drugs which we give in the case of unstable angina aspirin is given when aspirin is used for this clot being formed over here as it shows some anti platelet effect whereas nitroglycerin is vasodilator and as we are deficient in oxygen we can also give oxygen to the patient this an external supply of oxygen and morphine is given in very rare case but Uh, when patient is having intense pain which is not manageable only then this is given so you can memorize these thing as mona a for aspirin n for nitroglycerin o for oxygen and m for morphine and you go in this way that you start your patient on the aspirin and if doesn't work you go for further uh, choices so this was all about unstable angina this video also tells us what is the difference between stable angina and unstable angina and how they are caused so if you are interested in learning only the stable angina then it is available on my channel i have uploaded that one before this video and if you have any question related to the topic let me know in the comment section below you can also suggest me any topic you want to study next stay tuned and thank you for watching